barbs and bitches that's on my dick. <laughs> Go back on wherever you came from and tell everybody to come on this station head right the fuck now. Okay? I let everybody know Onika Tanya Mirage Pate. Is on station head right now. After performing for over 60,000 people last night. In Vienna, Austria. I shall perform in Ireland, Dublin. I mean Dublin, Ireland tonight. Gag City. Dublin. <laughs> um, everybody gather around. Um, well, let's open the show with one of our Barb favorites. You know, what I would say started the Pink Friday 2 era, as I mentioned, I, I, I commented on a, on a tweet where I explained to everyone exactly what was about to happen, but unfortunately for many people, they don't listen to me. I have gotten to the point where now I say, well, you know, as the Americans say, it is what it is. Um, as time goes on, I will tell you more people who I gave great advice to who didn't believe. You see, in order for the magic to happen, only one of us has to believe. Doom, 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 doom. Why is not showing up? Oh, hold on. Let me pull up my album. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back. Tell everyone you know, get on. It's a brief interruption. We're gonna have to play that shit the fuck again. We're gonna have to play that shit the fuck again. Again. The fuck again. And again. And again. <laughs> we at no bomb, but we at hold on. Let me see something. <laughs> Now, Nancy, you're, Nancy, you're, you better be, this better be the, the uh, dirty version. We are gathered here today. To simply just be happy for the 60,000 people that came out to Gag City in Vienna, Austria, over 60,000. 
Um, over 60, over 60,000 people came out came out to support me. <sighs> oh, wow. Look at 60,000. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's over 60,000. <laughs> Y'all not understand. No, I don't know, like, but seriously, I'm so serious, y'all. Over 60,000 people came out to support me in Austria. Um, and I want to thank them, and I want to thank the Barbs for being so always smart, for being ahead of their time. Chow for being the villain when they're really the, the good guy fighting for the villain who is really the good guy. And I, I address the nation today to appeal to the nation to be smarter and smarter and smarter. Because Auntie Cha of oh, 60. Over 60,000 people came up. Isn't life so beautiful in its in its, in its many ironies? You know, um, every day I humble myself before the Lord and I thank Him because I know that were it not for Him. I wouldn't be able to get on here on Station Head today and have a key. Um, as I sit, as I am my representation of the monarchy and the crown, the crown that I so beautifully set, my crown you winner 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 and today ayana akia wins for simply saying they can't F-I-T it, to be honest. Thank you. You will win in, uh, tickets to any show for the second leg of the U.S. tour. Shout out to at Trad Surge. Yes. Because at the end of the day, Grace... Grace, grace, grace. 
Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up. Everybody stop typing right now. Stop typing right now, everyone. Stop typing, Bobs. Stop typing before you get blocked right now. Stop typing right now. Thank you. Stop typing right now. Stop typing right now. At KVYX, you are a winner, winner, winner. You just won tickets to the gag. City, the Gag City second leg U.S. run of your choice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because isn't that the truth? Some people only speak the truth. And it's difficult in a world where people are so used to lying that other people don't really know what to believe. But I myself shall continue speaking the truth. And whoever chooses to believe it, behind the scenes or in front of the scenes, that's on you. I told you about that gift that I have. It's a gift that gives me the insight to peer into the future. Now, the barbs are the best thing in this whole universe that we are talking about right now. The barbs are the biggest and the best thing in social media. And the barbs say things without me having to say things. The barbs come to Gag City and we just have a good old time. We don't have to do much, actually. We just live in our truth and we are authentically ourselves. But one thing about the barbs, remember, I tell you guys all the time. The barbs forget nothing. Now remember this day because there are more like it to come. When we shall gather and play beautiful music, thanking the six, the over 60,000 people who came out to support me. The missing ingredient in everybody's soup is what? Not just talent. Oh, bitch, don't sugar. No. Thank you, Shakuri Lot. What? You know what? Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> I said gratitude before. And, um, yes, oh, that's Sneak said Star Power, that's true. But I was talking about something that I had said one time. Um, and yes, Bob Burr said gratitude as well. <clears throat> but, Hmm. But yes, 
and I know you're listening. I know you're listening, Popo Head, Pokebots. Okay. Humility. Gratitude. Therefore, when I when I when I look into my crystal ball, I was already able to tell five years ago about many things, many people. But that's why I don't I'm I I speak I don't speak from pride <clears throat> and speak with no ego. I speak I speak hoping that I will help my barbs figure out life the right way. I speak only because I want you guys to master life without going through all of the evil that comes from just being a, a a standout, the jealousy, the envy, the things that people will try. I want, I hope that you guys don't have to ever experience it. So I say it all the time. No one can ever and will ever until I decide. to say goodbye. And until that day comes, I've seen it in my crystal ball. There are none on earth yet. There are none born of a woman yet. <clears throat> that can come close to us. I never say, oh, and by the way, to all the blogs that you're too scared to post other people, but we know you'll post this. Suck my asshole. Suck it out, okay? Thank you, by the way. Um, but I have already seen it, sweetheart. Because before you even know what the fuck you're doing and where you're going and before you even understand that this is not social media, this is not friends and family, this is the Music business. And sweetheart, heavy on it 
is now being called upon <laughs> by people. Well, let me save the rest. You know, you never know. Um, you see... <clears throat> Don't let life have to humble you over and over and over. So many times I wish I would have just said, okay, God, I get it. Or the universe doesn't show me. Let me do, do, do. But honey, child, ego and pride and all of this stuff. So I speak only to my barbs. You, do you know what it is to have so much money that you can do anything and then have to have self-control? Do you know the strength? Do you know the mental strength? Do you know Do you know what it is to have people you've helped? Take the help and turn around and kick you. I'm not talking about the industry. I know I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I know y'all experienced this with your families and your friends. But still I rise. Onika Angelou Tanya Maraj Petty. Will rise and rise. Maya Angelou. Wasn't Maya Angelou. Which one was a prostitute? Let me tell you something, honey child. People will look at you, right? <clears throat> Shout out to my Zoes on the, um, I see your flag too. The hoop I hollered. I hate y'all so bad. Guys, I won't be long. But we got to get into a couple of more songs that, um, shout out my vatos too. Um... These are your requests. South Land Chicken Nikki. South LA Nikki fan. I'm gonna play a, I'm gonna play a couple. I'm gonna play a couple. You know what I'm saying? That's how we giving it the fuck up. That's how we giving it the fuck up. And baby, if a 40-year-old drug addict is one. <laughs> Don't break it, though. <laughs> One baby child, if a lady, if a old lady, if a old lady on drugs. 
got you by the balls. Bitch. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, hell no. Not no old lady that's on drugs. Well, bitch, you better get that drug. Bitch, you better age. Well, uh, um, let, take that part back. But, um, you see, when, you, when your heart and your vagina Hi, Nigeria. And I hope y'all don't think that this is uh, directed to one or one, uh, one person or one situation, because you'd be sadly mistaken to think that. I know the blogs that are scared to post other people and that are clearly on certain um payroll try to make it out to be that but today i got time for each and every one of them i got some real good information today i mean three days ago but who cares who cares six people came out to support over 60,000 over 6 Thousand, bitch. I'm, I might as well be sixty now, bitch. Shit, shit. Looking this good, bitch. The sixty year olds is out here looking. <laughs> getting surgery, doing all types of shit. They don't want to be. They don't want to be ground. Um. Call me what you want, but what you will say is. And what you will do is, you dirty, funky bitch, is a dress me ass queen. I am no longer Elizabeth Mountbatten. I am Elizabeth Winsor. And under my reign, the house of Windsor shall always, always, always do just that reign. You see what I'm going to say? You hear me? I say, oh, 60,000. You see, life. Is about genuine gratitude. Simply learn how to just genuinely be grateful for the little things that you don't know are big things that people do for you. And I want the people who love me to have an easier life than I've had. Um, yes, I know you guys think fame and money is everything. But constantly being, you know, trying to force, to try to be forced out of doing something that you love 
would take a toll on any human being. But every time I would get on, I would see something that I really needed to see that day from you guys. Sometimes it would just be one comment or two or tweets or whatever. But if an old crackhead then bitch you better get your crack pipe. Get your motherfucking crack pipe bitch. Wait, hold on, you guys. Is it my big brother's 50 cents birthday? Well, we have to play this. This is someone who has defended me publicly many times when he didn't have to, when I wasn't even expecting him to. Um, and then someone who has given me great advice behind the scenes and someone who has always stayed true to himself. The other day I was in the booth, I was recording something and Juice looked at me for the first time ever in, you know, a decade of us recording together. And he said, is it like a New York thing, shawty? I said, what are you talking about, your man? He was like, y'all won't, y'all won't let shit go. Like you and 50. Y'all won't let shit, like one shit. I said, you man, what? I, uh, I. Excuse me. Excuse me, someone saying to get up new music. Don't tell me what to do. I do what I want on my own time at Sleaze E. Okay? That was y'all problem last time and y'all still haven't fucking learned? Y'all still haven't learned to live in the moment? Well, maybe I shall. Don't tell me what to do, what to put out, when to put out new music, how to put out new music. Respectfully, please. Thank you. I am not in your life telling you how to make every step you make, every breath you take. I will be there every little breath you take. I'll be together. So don't you fucking dare. Hello to the Philippines. Philippines, you know, I've always loved you. Don't you dare! I will un I will block you out on Twitter too. And we're not even playing that game this time. When I told y'all about the gift, some believed, some did not. My more spiritual understanding barbs always were able to see certain things, but it's okay. You guys have your lives to live. And um, you ain't, it's not your responsibility to worry about what the fuck old nigga time or I talking about all the time. No, you guys do enough. You guys do above and beyond for me. Hi, Kenya. Hi, Haiti. Hi, Samoa. Okay. But let me tell you something, bitches. Hi, Canada. 
Don't fucking tell me what the fuck to do. From now on, if you'd like to tell me what to do, I would like to come where you live or and where you work and stare at you for the entire day and then tell you what all changes to make. Now, like I was saying, happy birthday to 50 Cent, a real ass nigga from Southside Jamaica, Queens, New York City, where the fuck I'm from. And he's always remained himself. And that's what I love. And the thing about people like 50 You don't know what they're going through behind the scenes, what they're dealing with. Just just because you see five minutes of a person laughing on Instagram, that's like, remember when that guy said that they weren't going to come to the Gag City tour because (laughs) they was like, where's where's the prep? (laughs) Like, whoa. Well, then come in. Isn't the door open? Oh, I can't. Oh, I forgot. Zoom must have closed it. Hurry up. Thank you, please. Um, guys, I gotta get myself together. However, however, I really and I love you. I'm happy to be here to uh do this show for you guys i might have to wear coats over my um clothing today because when we arrived i felt felt it was a bit cold and i can't risk you know becoming under the weather and i hope you guys will understand it won't change anything about the show and more than likely eventually i'll warm up anyway and take off the coat if i have to start with one Thank you, Billy Baby. No wet hair. How, hi, Australia. However, you guys, just live in the moment. I wish peace and blessings over your lives. Okay, now. be on to something. La La Vuitton. I don't want to play that one, though, but you want to something um, heavy on Mirage and all of you guys. Let me see if I could find the one I really want to play. Yeah, instead of playing Beep Beep, I want to play the one I really want to motherfucking play. This is the one I love. <laughs> Southside Jamaica, Queens. That's my favorite part outside of the chorus. We don't play that. We don't play that. We don't. We don't play around. Now listen up, bitch. And boys. Um, I hope you know how much I love you. I really do. I'll do that again here for one more second. Now, before I go, guys, I would like to say 
I would like to say that may God bless my supporters who don't have to support me, who make a conscious choice and effort every day to support me. I want God to bless these people because if y'all only know, one day, the right time, we'll sit and chat. You know, there won't be any crack pipes laying around, but we'll be old. Duh. And I just wish you guys knew how much you meant to me. Always. Um, I get it. You guys say, your win is my win. And that's why I always say we. Because I get it. Because I thought about why do I get happy when I hear about you guys doing things that I, you know, think is dope. Whether it's college or whether it's anything that you guys, that makes you happy. You know, whether you have had a child, whether you got married, whatever it, whatever it is, it makes me happy to hear. So I get it. Um... I love you so much. Please pray for me today. Um, we've already started getting ready um, for Gag City Dublin today. Please keep us, my whole team, in your prayers. We love you so much. What time is it out here? 5 o'clock p.m. Yes. Um, so. So, yes, we've already begun. But anyway, um, I hope that what you want most in life finds you. I really do. <laughs> and I know that you guys are very smart and we're going to continue to have smart days. But thanks for fucking with me today for a second. You guys always brighten up my day. Um, I hope your families are well. May God bless them too. May God bless your business ventures. May God bless your thoughts. May God bless you with wisdom. Okay, motherfuckers, good night and goodbye.